بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اور یو اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر فائن ٹوڈے وی ول لرن 7.2 ایریا اف پیرالوگرام سو فرسٹ تھنگ ایز آئی نو دیٹ ہیر از اے ریکٹینگل سو واٹ از پیرالوگرام ہی جسٹ کٹ دس پارٹ اف یو کٹ دس پارٹ اینڈ پٹ اٹ ہیر so it looks like a parallelogram okay so it's also a rectangle so what i do now so it's mean the rectangle <coughs> and the area should be same so what we will do we will just simply multiply as as it is base multiply by height okay now as it is same now we are discuss about parallelogram okay that uh, that we just simply multiply base and height now let's talk about trapezium what is trapezium different shape okay this base is bigger than this base but if we put two trapezium one is like that and other is opposite of this one so we will make it easily the parallelogram so we will make it easily parallelogram so it's mean we just multiply by base multiply by height so but we are putting one extra so after that when i multiply base multiply by height so because it's a half so i am just multiply as well half so it is equal to half a plus b a is this part b is the small area multiply by height so with the help of this we just now that how we will find the area of trapezium we are talking about area of parallelogram so simply you just multiply these two 5 multiply by 7 35 so you just write here 35 centimeters square but in case of trapezium what we will do we add these two 12 plus 18 30 30 multiply by 8 so what is the answer that is 240 millimeter divided by 2 means divided by 2 why we do this because it's a formula that we after that we multiply by it half so we will get 120. Now let's start to our topic. Question number one. It is more easy as compared to with it. Simply six multiplied by three, 18. So just write 18. 26 multiplied by 15, as it is 7.3 multiplied by 4.3. In this case, you just add these two, like eight plus three, 11, 11 multiplied by seven, 77. Divided by 2, then you will get your answer. As it is same, just multiply these two, 6.4 and 3.2, you will get your answer. Then multiply this number and then half of this number is your answer. Now, this here are some answers as you can see. Now, this is a part of Zalika homework. Explain the mistake of Zalika has made. What is the difference between the area of the two shapes? As we know that it is a parallelogram, just what you do, just multiply these two. 15 multiplied by 12 that is equal to 180 so you write here 180 second thing area of this 10 plus 6 16 multiplied by 9 so she will get its answer that is after that is divided by 2 so yeah, my answer is 72 now then we will make the difference because he said what is the difference of the area of the two shapes so 180 minus 72 equal to 108 but the problem here is this one is in the form of millimeter and this one is in the form of centimeter so first thing we will convert any one of these let's suppose we're talking about this one that is in millimeter when you convert this it's equal to 1.8 okay so when I convert this into centimeter, so my I am writing like this that it should be 1.8. 7.2 minus 1.8 that is equal to not 1.0, it's equal to 7. Question number 4. We just select uh, its our estimation. So we just find the closest one. We know that it's 4.5, it's uh, uh, 5.4. So this is close to 5 and this is close to 5. 5 multiplied by 5 plus 5, 10. And this is close to 40 4 sorry so what uh, what i will do now 5 plus 5 10 
10 multiplied by 4, 40 divided by 2, 20. So any answer that is closest to 20, that is your right answer. So which one is close to 20? So that is the second one. Now here is your answer. Now let's talk about this one. It's equal to 4, closest to 4, and this one is also 4. 4 multiplied by 4, 16. So which one is close to 16? That is this one. C. Now question number 5, you have this uh, area of parallelogram that is 32 millimeters square and here is 22.6 centimeters. So what I do, first I convert 2.6 into 26 millimeter. Then I will divide this. So I will get 32 millimeter. When I convert in centimeters, 3.2 centimeters. So that is my right answer. As it is the same thing I am doing with question number 6. So thank you so much class. I hope you understand. Goodbye.